Hi everyone, I'm Mina and welcome to my channel. This is the second part of my college stats series, so be sure to check out my previous video. I'll be linking it in the information box as well as the, at the end of this video. Uh, in that video, I talked about my scores, so like my ACT scores and my SAT2 scores. Uh, so make sure that you watch that video right after you watch this one. Be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss the other two videos that I'm going to be posting in this series. And with that being said, let's get straight into this video. So going straight into my GPA, I have had all A's throughout my high school career, so I have a 4.0 GPA, and my weighted GPA is a 4.32. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my transcript because it's actually really confusing. I took a lot of online and summer courses, and so I think I have like five different places that I have credits from listed on my transcript. Uh, but I'll just be going over what I put into Common App. So in Common App, you need to very specifically organize what you took in 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Going into 9th grade year, I'll try to go through these as fast as possible. Uh, because I have a lot of classes to go through. So I took US History, that was online, German 1, English 1 Honors, AP Calculus BC, AP Physics 1, AP Human Geography, and Visual Arts 2. Going into my 10th grade courses, I took Robotics, Robotics 2, and Foundations of Engineering Tech. Those were three online courses that I took through my first robotics team. Uh, and so that was like the Robotics 1, 2, and 3 classes. I took AP Studio Art 2D Design, Honors German 2, AP Chemistry, AP Statistics, AP European History, and Honors English 2. And then going into my junior year, that was when I transferred to the Gatton Academy, so my courses look a little bit different. If you're not familiar with Gatton, be sure to watch my last video. I went a little bit more in depth about what Gatton is. Um, but basically, I took a full load of college courses while living at Western Kentucky University. WKU is split up into a semester basis, so you would take one class for half of the year and then a, a different class for the other half of the year. So for my fall semester junior year, I took Academy Seminar Experience. That was a class that was just required for all Gatton juniors to take. I took Descriptive Astronomy. College Chemistry 2 and the corresponding Chemistry Lab. Because I took AP Chemistry and I got a 4 on the exam, I was able to skip Chemistry 1 and go straight into Chemistry 2. I took Honors Computer Science 1, Practicum slash Computer Side. That actually wasn't a course, but it was more like the research credit that I received by doing research at the university. Then I took Multivariable Calculus and that rounded out my fall semester. Going into my spring semester, I got another research credit. I took Honors Advanced Computational Problem Solving, that again was a Gatton requirement. Um, I took Elementary German 1 and 2, so that was a bi-term class, so the class essentially went twice as fast since I took German previously while I was at Rao, I thought I would be fine in a bi-term class. Uh, so you would take both German 1 and German 2 within the time span of one semester. I took differential equations and then finally University Physics 1 as well as the corresponding physics lab. Going into my 12th grade year, again I was a student at Gatton Academy um, and obviously these classes weren't complete by the time I finished sending in all of my college applications so all of the colleges will only see my first semester grades. Um, so for the fall semester, I took Linear Algebra, Computer Animation 1, which by the way, an incredible class. I loved it. If you have a chance to take those kind of classes, um, I would highly recommend it. I got another research credit and I took Japanese 1 because German didn't fit into my schedule and I love learning new languages. Uh, I took Numerical Analysis, which if you aren't familiar, it's a graduate level CS course and that was actually a really difficult CS slash math course. and. Um, I learned a lot in that class. I took computer science too in the corresponding lab, and then finally I finished my last requirement of seminar for Gatton. Then I'll also talk about the courses that I I'm going to take in the spring semester, just because in the common app, you have the option to list the courses that you're going to be taking, so that may or may not have had an impact on my application. But I'm going to be taking biology and the corresponding bio lab, 
I'm taking game programming that was kind of more for fun because I love finding ways to combine CS with art and so I thought I would enjoy that class. Um, I enjoy computer animation one so much that I'm taking computer animation too. And I also really love Japanese, so I'm taking Japanese too. And then finally, I'm fulfilling my last high school English credit, so I'm taking English 300. I know that this video contained a lot of information and I went through it super, super quickly, but I hope that this video helped you kind of get to know the classes that I've taken. Um, overall, I'm going to be able to have about 70 college credits, and so depending on the college that I choose to go to, those may or may not transfer. Uh, so for example, my brother went to Northeastern University and he was able to transfer around 70 credits. And then for my sister, she went to Cornell and she wasn't able to transfer barely any credits. So depending on the school that I go to, that's going to determine how many credits I'm going to be able to transfer. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, make sure that you subscribe again because I'm going to be posting two other videos in my college stats series so you don't want to miss out on those. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And as usual, I'd love to hear about the, any thoughts you have in the comment section down below. See you in my next video. Bye!